Hi Libra, welcome. Thanks so much for being here and sharing this time with me. Let's do a reading for you to see how things might be going. And time really is fluid, so whenever you find this and find value in it, then it is for you. But this does happen to be your birthday time. So, happy birthday to you. I hope things go wonderfully. Now, do remember, only take with you what resonates and just let the rest go. Okay? Let's get some oracle cards and then we're going to get some tarot. You have soulmates. New life. Time to go. And, oh my goodness, very, very nice. Okay, soulmates. This could be anybody. It could be somebody, definitely, that either you're learning from them or they are learning from you. It could be a short time that, you know, you guys are around each other all the way to an extremely long time. But it is, in your recent past, a time where there was somebody who was important in your life that either you were learning from or they were learning from you. Your current energy is a new life. So this is a change. And it might very well have to do with this soulmate that maybe the time has passed and it's time for something new. But it does not have to be that. It could just be now. It's time for something new in your life. And in the near future, we're saying it's time to go. Whatever this new thing is, it is time to go for it. And here you have serendipity. It's a four-leaf clover. You know, it's happiness, luck. And you see the little four-leaf clovers sprinkling all around. It is a wonderful time. So this is very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Let's get some tarot for your past. See what we come up with. Queen of Pentacles. Um, I think she's a wonderful energy. This could be somebody coming into your life or, excuse me, was in your life. Very practical, very balanced. The, you know, the love area, beautiful. Financial area, beautiful. Everything's in such balance. Okay. Victory. Wow. It's a wonderful energy as well. This is where you were victorious. And support was here for you. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What a wonderful recent past. And it has something to do with soulmates. This is a new beginning. And it is one that has to do with earthly matters. Like happiness, finances, love. Here, definite success, victory. And going for your happiness whatever that is, you know, your abundance, whether it be finances, joy, love. And there is some involvement with the soulmate. Okay, on to your present energy. It looks like this newness is carrying on into the present. And something to notice, there's a circle, circle, and circle. So that definitely makes me feel like the three are not just a sequence of events, but they are tied in together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what we find out here. Balance. So here you're beginning with balance. Here you have balance. And this also says that if there is something you need, it will be provided for you. 
but it's make for sure you bring in the balance. And here you have another pentacle. So it's pentacle, 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 and pentacle. Lots of earthly energy here. Bringing in the balance, taking action, going towards your goal, something new. And this is not in a hurry, okay? This energy is not fast. As a matter of fact, it's the slowest night in the deck. So this is saying, don't be in a hurry. Have your new beginning, whatever this is, but make for sure that you're being very thorough, methodical. Make sure all your T's are crossed, I's are dotted, whatever this is, you want to be very thorough with it. You know, you don't want to go so fast that you miss something, okay? And like I said, out of five cards, four of them are pentacles. So it's a very earthly energy. And let's see. Okay. Well, out of pentacles and into cups. Okay. Letting you know, again, this could be the very same thing, right? This new beginning. But it is one that is filled with abundance, love, and you being ready to go for it. Okay. Let's see what the future is saying. It's definitely saying it's time to go. And she looks like she's kind of in a hurry. She wants to go. She's ready. It's a lovely image. Okay, this is where you are creating this. Mm-hmm. You have everything you need to bring this new beginning into existence, and you are manifesting it. It's a powerful energy. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, again, balance. So you have balance here, here, and here. So past, present, future. Make for sure you keep everything balanced. It's going to be important. That's why it's in each division here, okay? Here you have the star, which is wonderful. This is letting you know that if there's anything that happened, say with your soulmate or anything throughout where you need to heal, healing is here for you. Take that time. It's also saying the star, you see you have the, the star tethered or lassoed. You've got it. What it is that you're wanting to bring in is here for you. And, you, you know, victory, new beginning new beginning ready for a new beginning time to go you know creating manifesting what it is you want so you can't get any more clear than this whatever it is you're want, wanting it is coming in you are bringing it into your life wonderful energy now here it's talking about you protecting and defending it you know if need be but that whatever this is, I you know oftentimes get this feeling that with this energy, especially when it's accompanied by new beginnings, that this is important to you. And you are going to be there to help protect and defend it if anybody decides they want to challenge it. Okay? And at the bottom beautiful serendipity it's going to be a wonderful time oh you're not gonna believe this look at that bottom of the deck ace of wands so something you truly desire really love and that's going to bring in the abundance that you want no wonder it's time to go <laughs> and no wonder you want this new life right beautiful time for you all right, let's see what the universe would like to share. And it's so nice to see these readings like this. Mm-hmm. Truly is. 
there were a few challenging times there, and it's so nice to see that things look like, at least for the moment, are leveled out. Ah, and the phone just dinged twice. That's all, for me, that's always a sign that, yeah, that's going on. Mm -hmm. Things are smoothing out for a time. Now, you know, on um, the political spectrum, that's a different deal. We don't know how smooth things are, but at least personally, it looks like it is going to be a very nice time. And look at this, you have the star, which you have right here. So that's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said what it is that you really want, the abundance, the love, the happiness, the desire, you're bringing it into your life. And this is confirmation of that. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, if there's any time in here, because this is soulmates, you know, it depends on what's going on with this. This could be where you're parting ways, or maybe getting closer, but whatever it is, if there's any hurt, healing is here for you. This is very fast, positive moving energy, and it can be in the way of communication. It doesn't have to be. But interestingly, you know, I mentioned a little bit ago about she looks like she's in a hurry. She really wants to go. Very positive. And to me, this could easily be right there with her but now up here you have the go slow be methodical so there could be a challenge and that could be why balance balance and balance is here try to keep things balanced if you see you're going too fast slow down a little if you see you're going too slow speed up a little it could have something to do with that and I say this card is balanced because that's the way I feel about her. She is very balanced. Okay, let's get one more here. Ah, yeah. This is the Eight of Swords, where it's your thoughts that have you feeling kind of cornered. Or, you know, like you're stuck. And, let me see here. This is such a beautiful reading that the only place I can see this potentially being is either with the soulmates or because the universe keeps repeating, make for sure you stay balanced. So it could be either or. And you have this really fast energy and this really slow energy. So it might be just saying, this is quite possible if you don't keep things in balance. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. You know, whatever the case is, try to keep things balanced, okay? And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a wonderful energy. This is talking about... The wheel is turning in your favor. So look at the very last cards you have here. Four-leaf clover. It's definitely luck. What you want, what you desire is here for you. And the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. So it's a wonderful time. So this might just be a caution. Do not let yourself get caught up in something that is not balanced. Okay? And it could have to do with the soulmate. It might not. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. To close this out. Okay, you have no. And to me, that is right here. And where I've repeated, balance, balance, balance. And here is, you know, getting caught up in your own thoughts in a challenging way. I'm sure this is addressing that. 
do not let the negativity take hold. This is too beautiful of a time for you to allow that. If you feel that starting to come in, then go find the balance, okay? That could be walks in nature. It could be meditating. It could just be spending time doing something you want to do. Whatever it is, don't let yourself get caught up in this, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have peaceful resolution. So, again, the soulmates is a possibility if there's an issue there. And if it is that, whether you're staying together or separating, either way, you want a peaceful resolution. And it's saying it's here for you. But I think you're going to need to keep the balance and stay out of a negative frame of mind. Okay? It really is a lovely reading. You have a lot to look forward to. Just, you know, cautionary moment. Don't get caught up in this. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And I'll talk to you again soon. Much love. Bye.